In my education, research, and policy career, I took the principles I'd gleaned from popular games and applied it to our school syllabus. I consulted our maths advisor about which elements in the curriculum were the most boring or hard to pitch, and he mentioned, not surprisingly, number series. I can't recall ever using any of those sequences in my working life, let alone my daily life. So I looked at the maths kindergarten to sixth year syllabus items and noted number sequence, data measurement, patterns, algebra, and geometry. I tried to think of a meta-activity that would require all of these. Space travel, medical research are obvious, but more in the high-level postgraduate end of things. Thinking of documentaries that appeal, I hit on the lost city as an archetype. Each week someone finds Atlantis or the cradle of civilization. Well, what do you think of it, Professor? It's amazing. See, Diana, here is an influence strikingly similar to my arm. I suppose so. You know, there's something about this place that frightens me. Nonsense, my dear. Diana, come here and look at these hieroglyphics. It's interesting, isn't it? These are entirely different from either the Mayan or Egyptian. Archaeologists see alignment with astronomical geometry. They decipher codes. All of the things in the K-6 syllabus and with plenty of scope for travelogues and adventures. Walt Disney Corporation made a fortune with Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, and Uncle Scrooge taking kids to look for lost cities. So I approached the Tournament of Minds organization who were looking for applied science quests and designed for them a lost city adventure. The tournament allowed me to give the students questionnaires and I was able to publish some surprising results. The kids said this online game did not help their schoolwork. They did it for their own challenge. Nor did they say the glamour of the prizes was important. This was a very important finding as a lot of the expense in these games, hundreds of thousands of dollars, goes into the award ceremonies, often involving interstate travel, hotels, airplanes. If the whole thing can be created from a coffee table using free YouTube and Web 2.0 hosting like this open learning course you're doing, it starts to live up to the hype of educational potential. So for homework, think of an educational need that might be met with a game. List some tasks that are common to this need. List some contaminants that would make it hard for you to gauge whether they were learning anything new or were merely calling on prior skills and knowledge. 